I'm Robert Bell, and we're here at the 2013 NAB show talking with thought leaders in media contribution and distribution about some of the most important trends shaping the industry, from technology shifts to changing viewer expectations. And here's what one of them had to say about the most important changes taking place today. Well, as you know, my customers are the, the best of the best in content distribution, video content distribution. And multi-screen is important for them because it, it captivates their audience in ways they haven't been able to do before. What's important to them is making sure that the content is successfully delivered. And for my company, that's a good thing because we're in the business of ensuring that their content is successfully delivered, it's well protected, and it gets to where it needs to go and it's in good shape so it's just a, it's another distribution model for us it's another set of equipment that we need to ensure and monitor and control and it's it's a wonderful thing from our perspective one of the big issues that we're seeing at this show in particular and Gordon Smith talked about it, Greg Warden talked about it, and Distinguished Service Award winner Bob Schaefer talked about it, and that's protecting the copyright and the distribution rights of the content providers. Um, as you know, Arrow was decided just a few days ago. Chase Carey, President and CEO of Fox, is, is not happy with that decision. It did not go in their favor. I'm sure they will appeal. But who owns the content? Who has the right to distribute it? It, it? It's written into our Constitution that there are certain rights afforded to content owners, and we can't violate that. And we as a society have to figure out how we're going to handle this. What I see that's going to happen, there's going to be more uh, encryption. You're going to have to have some sort of right to decode, decrypt content, whether it's on your TV, your, your phone, your tablet. As the distribution models expand, controlling that content is going to be harder and harder. And it's, it's going to have to get encrypted. That's another layer of management that, that's required. There, there needs to be content management, um, subscription management. And there, there's a lot more that our customers, the video content owners and distributors are going to have to handle and manage in order to deliver their content successfully. To expand on that a little bit, the content owners and distributors are at somewhat at odds with the advertisers. Because the advertisers want their message out. They don't want it impeded in any way. So the business models are gonna have to change a little bit to keep the content owners and distributors happy as well as the advertisers. This year, it's, it's, the top priority remains delivery of their, of their video. The successful delivery of their video. They don't need outages. They don't want outages. They can't deal with that. They have an obligation to their advertisers and their subscribers to be perfect, to deliver their video all the time, everywhere, that, that they've paid for. So it's, it's, it's monitoring the video, ensuring that it's there, ensuring that it's, it's of good quality, ensuring that metadata such as closed captioning, DPIs, local insertions, are successfully delivered the way they're supposed to be delivered. It is, and we're, we're seeing the major networks uh, delivering over the internet, and if an advertiser doesn't pay for internet delivery, they don't want the advertisements to go to the internet. So the content, what used to be a single stream, single channel, is now getting divided up into same core content, different insertions, different advertisements. Yes, it, it has been since the industry started, and it will continue to be that way for two reasons. One, ubiquitous coverage. You can't beat the coverage. 
using any other method. And two is reliability. It remains the best, the highest reliable delivery method on the planet today. Now, as the, as the market and the industry and the viewers change from a one to many model and gets closer to a one to few, people have asked where does satellite fit in? And with the high throughput satellites, spot beams, you can do one to few just fine. I think what we're gonna see is we're gonna see a hybrid communication method where there'll be a terrestrial back and forth to find out, to get from the consumer what content they wanna see. But when you're pushing out massive amounts of data to mobile people, the mobile viewers, satellite works great. And the high throughput sa satellites play into that model very well. But it can't be the only delivery method. It has to be one to one. Or it has to be a hybrid of both terrestrial and satellite. The, um, the, other, the other thing to point out is the cost to installation, the, the, the time to market with the satellite delivery system is much faster. You don't have to dig up the ground, you don't have to lay a terrestrial infrastructure, and watching Africa will be a good model to see how and if terrestrial infrastructures even get built out. They didn't have it today, they haven't had it for years. Satellite's the primary method for delivering most of the content in that country or in that, in that continent. And we'll see if they build out the ground infrastructure or not. It's expensive, it's time consuming, it's prone to uh, interruptions from natural disasters, from human disasters, digging up fiber, electrical problems. There are a lot of, there are a lot of issues with terrestrial infrastructures that, that require lots of maintenance that satellite doesn't have. We're going to be talking about the new business model for video distribution. Currently there's subscription and there's advertising. We're going to see a hybrid of those two and we're going to see another way to monetize that content. The, the metadata that will be added to the video is going to increase and the way consumers receive their video is going to, going to continue to expand and what they get out of their video, not just entertainment, they're gonna, the consumers will have to get additional value out of that video that translates into purchases they make, translates into savings when they do go shopping, and it's going to change the way advertisers deliver and, and push content out to consumers. Um, the, the framework is there, the technology's there, the business model has to catch up, and the consumers will be ready for it when the industry is, is able to deliver.